Guys, from the Soy Sasa Assassin, welcome to another episode of Cigar Review. And today we're doing the Mil Diaz um, Prong Head. What is this? Uh, Maduro. Uh, I actually thought I already did one of these reviews. Everybody's like, no, you haven't. And I guess I haven't. So, yeah, let's do one of these. Take a look at the cigar. Mil Diaz Maduro Sublime comes in Toro. It is 6x54. MSRP $12.50. Wrapper is Connecticut Broadleaf. Liner is Ecuadorian Habano. And filler is Nicaraguan Condega, Jalapa, and Omatepe. The appearance almost have a shiny silverish hue on the dark, uneven color wrapper. It's ugly but attractive in a certain way. So. Let's get started. All right, as you can see, this cigar is ugly and pretty at the same time. Um, it's not crazy expensive, twelve fifty, and but it's an odd size, right? Like usual cases, you'll think this is actually called a Toro, but why is it called Robusto Extra? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, okay, so let's, let's 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 start smoking one of these, I guess. Uh, first, we got the crown head. Then, I mean, it doesn't. S it smells a little bad, but it's not like very bad. It has a. It has that. That Nicaraguan stink. Like leafy stink. Not like, you know, like Mexican Sandra has that damp mushroom stink. This one is like leafy stink. Not bad, not bad. All right. It's a little crunchy. I don't know why. It's been in the humidor, so. Ah, okay. Very tight draw. And it looks like I do have a little bit more room for 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 cap to come off. I'm gonna cut a little bit more. Just open up just a tad. All right, it's a little bit better. Lighter. Can't smell it. That's okay. Right away, there's some pepperiness. Okay. A little bit too spicy for me in the beginning. But it actually comes with a little bit of... Uh, earthy, barnyard... 
espresso kind of mixture. Damp leaf, leafy hay. Um, that leafiness is actually kind of pleasant in this cigar. It's um, it reminds me of some. You some it reminds me of those like you know. In a way of uh, cook fermented banana leaf thing that we used to uh, make like food, like wrapping food, and then you now like really, it was green. Once you cook it, it's like brown and yellow, and that taste. And I can taste that it's trying to get sweeter, but it's not there. The pepper is covering it up. So let me see one third, and I'll be right back. All right, so we are done with first third. The first third is like a, a leafy cocoa, vanilla bean, leatheriness, and ends with a little bit of like espresso bean plus a little bit over burned bitterness. But they all taste pretty good, with the exception that leafiness kind of don't match. Like the, everything's sweet and then that leafiness is just not part of the group <laughs> you know it, 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 it so far it's pretty good but just I, I didn't I didn't think that the, the leafiness fits into that group of good flavors but it's pretty nice pretty nice and it starts to get a little bit salty too retro hair is pretty nice Still have a little bit of pepper or, you know, something tingling in your nose. It can go a little bit over, but not really. So yeah, first third is not bad. First third is not bad. So we're into the second third. We'll see what that changed to. We are back. All right, second third. You start to have some sort of like a berry sweet. And the rest is pretty much the same. It's about a medium. Um, strength burns okay. It has that berry sweet, but also at the end of that berry sweet finish, it kind of half a hint of like ammonia, just a little bit. But the rest is fine. The rest is pretty good. That berry sweet, kind of is a good lead into those. Cocoa, chocolate, espresso kind of tone, and then finishes it with the, like a little bit leafy, earthy uh, tone. Not bad, actually. I like the second there. I like the second there because of the, because of the sweetness, kind of made that leafiness shorter. And because it's shorter, now it's a more smokable cigar to me, at least. It's more interesting. The sweetness allows you to uh, enjoy it a little, little bit longer. Like that puff is a little bit longer of enjoyment before, you know, like the bitterness or uh, other notes that kind of kills it a little bit. Right? It kind of like refreshes your palate a little bit. The pepper kind of turned into a black pepper taste, but not so much as black pepper burn. All right? So... It's kind of interesting. It's pretty good. I mean, I'm surprised for a crown head. That's pretty good, you know. So, we're into the last third. I can't remove the band because this thing is glued um, on a really paper, paper. Like, yeah, I probably had to cut this. What? What? I don't know how I'm gonna get this off. Uh, if I just tilt it, it's cracking the leaf. So I'm not gonna. I'll keep smoking. I'll try to figure it out. So yeah, last third. Be right back. All right, well, the last third finishing up. That's the band, Mel Diaz band. Uh, was, it's not very, very different. Just all the same for Mel Diaz. But last third, let me refresh it a little bit. 
it's not bad at all. Sweet, cocoa, slight leafiness, espresso, slight espresso bean bitterness, a little bit earthy, just a little bit leather. Not bad. I, I wouldn't say this is a bad cigar. I think it's a lot better than other Meldias I smoked. Um, surprisingly for Crown Head. So I know some people like it. Now for me, um, I prefer Maduro a certain way. This one is like, I don't know, maybe 70% of the way there. And, and then, uh, so for me, it wasn't bad. It was enjoyable small uh, for what it is. So uh, I can, I, know, I think that's not bad. So what was the MS about? I can't remember. But uh, I think for the experience, I give it maybe 1150. 1150 is where I'm comfortable at. 1150 okay so yeah not bad cigar 1150 i think that's a that's a fair price for it now obviously this range plus minus one or two um this is up to your pocket whatever you like but for me 1150 i wouldn't mind just smoke it so anyways um thanks to eric sending me the cigar and um yeah that should be it for this particular cigar review this uh I don't want to say typical cigar. It, it, it's slightly different, um, but like my my my, I think the cigar downfall for me is that leafy taste doesn't really fit the rest of the taste. And if that leafy taste was taken out, this would be a thirteen dollar cigar, fourteen dollar cigar, because the leafy taste is in there. It's kind of it lacks certain enjoyment for me. All right, so yeah. Yeah, that will be it for the cigar review. If you like it, make sure to like, subscribe, comment, share, check out podcast, check out swag, and check out uh, not what, did I say podcast already? And, and, and check out our, our membership, um, you know, for early access for some of these reviews. I've been really busy, as you guys know. I work on the ITS uh, cigar project, so um, the update is a little slow, but you know, eventually I'll catch up. Okay, so I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys. <laughs>